We never know when we're going to be called out. We never know, you know, when a crime is going to happen. Being here the whole night is not like we're sacrificing anything. We're just doing what we're supposed to do. We are doing our 10 p.m. crime scene where basically everything that we've learned over the last three, four years comes all together. A mock crime scene was set up by a professor and we are essentially called out to the scene to process it. Uh, how do you know there's a dead body inside? You start off with documentation, so there's notes, sketches, and photographs, and that's probably the majority of it is you want to have great documentation. You want everything down as it is, as it's found, so that when the case ultimately goes to court, they have as much information as possible to present to the jury. And after we're done noting everything, we go on to searching, and we're searching for anything, drugs, fingerprints on the windows, anything like criminal related. It is different, every crime scene is different, so we don't know what to expect. All right, my team, we're upstairs. We have the two victims. It's really high energy that's affecting us all today, where we have our street committee that we don't usually have yelling and screaming at us. We have extra responsibilities of interviewing witnesses, and then just it's a huge area of processing. You know, crimes don't happen at reasonable hours. They don't happen when it's convenient. A lot of crimes happen when the sun goes down. So it really gives you like a first look into what your career is gonna be like and if you're ready for it. We use this complex for a lot of our courses. You know, obviously we have both of our crime scene courses here, but we also do photography, blood stain pattern analysis, biology of the grave. So a lot of forensic classes are held at this complex and that hands-on nature really gives it a practical application to the workforce. Everybody is a different type of learner, but in this field there is a lot of things where you have to learn hands-on. And here if you mess up you only lose points and if you mess up in the real world you're kind of screwed. So here it's, it's a learning experience really and it definitely helps prepare you for when you go out you know in the real world and actually do this job. Do we get front and back in the As a student from Brazil, I, we don't have forensic science in Brazil. That's why I came to America to study forensic science. When I was accepted to WVU and I, know, I knew that they had the examiner track, which is more like a field work, that what like caught my attention and I think that's what's special about WVU. Our two professors that we've had teaching these courses were former people and doing the jobs that we would be doing so they kind of bring their experience into this program which is very beneficial for the students. I looked at several schools and the only school that got me excited was West Virginia University and I can ultimately say that I am living my best life in the best way possible like they have prepared me so well for the real world and there's no program like ours.